All right, guys. Um, this is Zopox from Grim and Zopox Reviews, and today I'm going to take a look at the Neca's Alien vs Predator Warrior Predator. All right. So this is the front of the box. We're seeing the figure of the Predator side of the box they are shot at of the figure other side you got some nice art and it looks like a portrait of him here and in the back you'll see the predator figure with the life bar of the game <laughs> and the game backdrop and the other figures in the line and I definitely want this Dutch and Lynn 2 pack. And in the box, you can pull out this. I uh, guess you could probably use it as a diorama. Uh, just a uh, painting, a uh, pixelated painting of like a background, some parts in the game. I guess you could probably use it. So this is the warrior predator out of the box this is my second predator first from NECA and I'm very impressed I really like this figure I had a Kenner Night Stalker when I was younger and I like that one um, might have to hunt that down on eBay soon enough um, this guy is from the Aliens vs Predator video game he is basically a remold of the other predators before him with just a paint scheme that resembles the sprite from the arcade game. Okay, for his other accessories, there's his gauntlet blade, which extends, but I'll take a look at that in the articulation segment. And he also has his self-destruct gauntlet on this side, which also opens up. But I'll show you that also in the articulation segment. Um, no extra hands or head with this guy, and unfortunately, his mask doesn't come off to show his face. Okay guys, sculpt and paint. This guy looks exactly, well not exactly, but close enough to his game sprite on the game. Alright, we'll start the head. Let's see, he has some nice shading at the top. The real, the real thing that drew me to this guy is his mask. I really like the sculpt of his mask. Take a look at his dreads. Dreads are soft. That is nice sculpt and paint. Right, we take a 
a look at his shoulder armor. Um, really impressed by this figure. Necker is always knocking out the park. Yeah. Look at his armor. So the shot down to it. Actually open. You know what? I should no I wouldn't do that though. That's articulation. Um that's these hoses. Now, mind you, uh, be very careful. These hoses are soft and they look like they will break easy. Just focus on there. Nice. Yeah, these look like they will break easy. But I'll show you that in the articulation also. Got some hoses here. This chest armor. Now, this was accurate enough to what the game looked like. Yes, this armor on top here. And the shoulder. Risky gauntlet this side. Nice painting. Stout. Real intricate stuff as usual. Alright, going lower down. There's this brown pants. Or loin cloth. No, look like pants. Yeah. This cut piece is also shaded. Really good, his belt. Um, these armor pieces on his thighs are soft. Right. And in the back, he has his pouch. And the cut. This is also soft, as you can see. You go down, he has his knee pads. Associated. You know, the shin guards. And then his predator toes. Take like that. Ugly toes. And then he has two pegs. Two peg holes at the bottom of his feet. And is that in the A fox. All right reserved. Okay, cool. Yeah. Alright, and the paint. Um, other than the the armor having a nice grey paint, light grey um, and dark grey, looking like the game sprite, nice little shading and stuff in between. Um, his body has this mesh. It's not included in the arms or the feet, but it is on his thighs his upper body, his torso, and has this brown shading, which doesn't seem to line up. Okay, not yet. Here we go. He has this nice shading on his legs and stuff. And I have this little paint scuff here. But other than that, sculpt-wise and paint, um, this guy looks awesome. All right, articulation. Okay, so his head moves. Wow, it doesn't really move up. Um, it moves down a little bit and side to side. His arms move out this much. See now his neck out. Okay, guys, when I got this out of the package, I had to use hot water. Please be very careful with neck stuff. Yes, they make create figures but when it comes to the articulation hot water blow dryer do it all right so his arm doesn't really go up on mine but he does have a bicep swivel movable with the armor no yeah you have to look out for this see that can't use the bicep swivel too much or else this would definitely pop and for the double jointed elbows on this side uh, make sure you get the, the wiring around on this side on the outside and then you'll be able to bend his elbow without, you know, fear of it snapping. Alright, he also has articulation here on the gauntlet and on his wrist. He has a swivel and a hinge. Alright, his upper torso, he just has a twist for me. Um, he moves forward a little bit, not really back. His waist swivels 
no forward, no back, either, no side to side. His legs, this side is seized for me. And I really don't want to twist it as fear of breaking. But his leg moves out this much. I really want to take it easy. I really like this guy. Alright, uh, he has an upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knee. Alright, and I think it's a ball peg. Yeah, a ball peg on his feet here. Alright, so it swivels left and right, goes down this much, and it goes up this much. Alright, so articulation is pretty strong on this guy just be wary of the tight joints use your hot water use your blow dryer self-destruct so gauntlet is also articulated opens out like this and you see the detail inside I really liked it if it was painted. And also on this side, he has his extendable bits. Okay, this guy stands around. What I look like, Grim? A little over eight. So like a little bit over eight inches. Let's say eight and a half. Okay, yeah, about eight and a half. Yeah. Okay, so this is the NECA Predator Warrior next to NECA's Street Fighter 4 Ken and Hasbro's Marvel Legends Secret Wars Captain America. All right. So final thoughts. Um, he is the classic version of the game sprite as I said earlier I definitely want to get the Dutch Allen 2 back I know they're out already um, he has decent articulation except for the stuck um, thigh joint on mine and the paint scarf in the back um, game accurate accessories he has a decent sculpt even though it is reused from previous predators but i would definitely give this guy two thumbs up grim thoughts oh um, dude to be honest with you i know nothing of predator but i do have to say judging by the paint sculpt the way the texture is actually pretty good especially where you see the nothing and stuff like that from on the predator it's pretty good so Definitely, I give it a two thumbs up. So you gonna get one soon? Yeah, I don't mind one. Okay, cool. Okay, guys. So that was the review of the NECA Alien vs Predator Predator Warrior. Um, comment, like, subscribe. Um, I also want to add, we are on Instagram. Look for us, Grimman Zorpox, and. We are out. See you guys on the next one. Later.